E4 religions are something that Paradox players love to revolve a campaign around, either to become Protestant in Europe, or to pursue a campaign to spread one of the minor religions in game, like Judaism for instance. It's therefore no wonder I've taken an interest in this part of the game. A few weeks ago, I focused on the European religions that are missing in E4, but you guys wanted a part 2, and considering Paradox have missed so many religions in the 15th century, and there's so many interesting Asian religions missing around the time of E4, I thought why not make a video about it. In today's video therefore, we discuss what religions are missing in Central Asia, and these missing religions are far more diverse and prevalent than you might think. Also, we will be using the Voltaire's Nightmare mod to help visualise where these religions were on the map. If you are also interested in religions, then we are doing an old meetup at 100,000 subscribers, and you can go see the old minster, so make sure to subscribe. Right, let's get into this. The first religion we are going to discuss is known as Kabse. This is in the region of Circassia, and over time this region has chosen a number of religions to follow, going from paganism to Christianity and to eventually Islam. The religion we are interested in today is that of Circassian paganism. In EE4, Circassia is a tribal state led by Inal the Great, who united the Circassian tribes under his banner, and this EE4 nation follows the religion of Orthodox. In Voltaire's Nightmare, however, we see the paganism religion dominate the country, and it gives your state an increasing income through tax, and more local defensiveness. This pagan religion is still followed today, with many people sticking to their roots. The symbol of the Hammer Cross represents the Zabs, which is the social and moral code of a Circassian people. The native Circassian traditions were centred around ancestors and honour, and we can see this through this picture. In terms of whether it's historically accurate, to have Circassia's main religion as Kazabse in EE4 is difficult to say, and I couldn't quite determine it from my research. The region of Circassia is highly diverse, and many people follow different religions within the region. I think Inal the Great was orthodox, but I'm not completely sure, and I'm not completely sure either that the orthodox presence was substantial enough to have the whole country follow this religion in EU4. Maybe in EU4 there could be some flavour events added to this nation in terms of this pagan religion spawning within the country. The religion is actually becoming more relevant today with a resurgence of Circassian nationalism. Given this, should this religion be added into EU4? Let me know in the comments. The next religion I want to talk about is the Monophylite religion. This was created in the development of a Christological doctrine in the 5th century, and there was a debate around the nature of Jesus Christ. The controversy of this religion originated with a Byzantine emperor, Herculaeus, who excommunicated the Monophylites in Egypt and Syria, and forbid this study of a question surrounding Jesus. In the Voltaire's Nightmare mod, this religion has four provinces within the Mamluks. Now the bulk of the information I could find out about this religion dated roughly a thousand years before the EE4 start date, and it's not completely clear just how prominent this religion was in the Mamluks territory during 1444. The Voltaire's Nightmare mod suggests the Maronite Catholic Church of Lebanon is the reasoning for adding this religion in game, and it was actually relevant during this time, and therefore maybe this religion should be represented in EE4 in some way. Even if you disagree, it's still an interesting religion to talk about, with it having problems in the early Byzantine Empire, and perhaps there could be some Mamluk events surrounding this religion, and maybe they rise up in Lebanon at some stage. I have to admit though, the research of this religion was rather confusing, so it'll be interesting to see what people have to say in the comments. The next religion I wish to discuss is the Nestorian religion. It had a similar problem to the Monophylites in the development of a Christian doctrine, and we can see here graphically the distinct difference between the two, which actually have opposite perspectives. The Nestorians follow the teachings of the Archbishop Nestorius in the 4th and 5th century, splitting from early Christianity in 431 with the Council of Epsus. The Nestorians are not represented in EE4, but they do have a sizeable presence in the Voltaire's Nightmare mod, with the country of Asteria having the Nestorians as its main religion. The religion in Voltaire's Nightmare gives you some sort of special bonuses with communion. At the start of the E4, the Nestorian religion is meant to represent the Church of the East, which is what Voltaire's Nightmare has based it on. But one historian stated 
The association between the Church of the East and Nestorius is of very tenuous nature, and to continue to call the Church Nestorian is, from a historical point of view, totally misleading and incorrect. I'm therefore not entirely sure if you could add this religion into E4, but nonetheless it's worth discussing and making sure. The next religion we are going to talk about is Mandaeism. This is one of the smaller religions during the 15th century, so it's no wonder it's not represented in E4 at all. The religion rejects Abraham, Moses, and particularly Jesus, calling him a false messiah, while revering other patriots from the Old Testament. This religion particularly likes John the Baptist, who performed miracles of healing through baptism, and they viewed this as a magical process, giving immortality, purification, and physical health. Around the time of E4, they were living in southern Mesopotamia, and were living in a Muslim state, paying the Islamic tax. In Voltaire's Nightmare, the Mangiists have one province in the entire game. So again, this proves just how little presence they had around the time of E4. But maybe we could have some sort of E4 event with a revival movement, although I'm not sure just how historically accurate this would be. Today though, this religion has 60,000 to 100,000 members. It's probably not the most important religion to add into the game, but knowing Paradox fans, people love the most obscure religions in game, like the Hussites, and I wouldn't be opposed to adding this in. One of the final religions we're going to discuss is the Yazidi. They believe God created the world and entrusted its care into seven angels, the main one being the Peacock Angel. The ancient religion is rumoured to have been founded by 11th century Umayyad Sheikh, and is derived from Zoroastrianism. Now actually in E4, it is accessible through converter saves from CK2, so you technically can play as this religion, but it's not actually in-game. The fact we have Zoroastrianism in E4 makes me think maybe we could have this new religion, and it could bring a lot of flavour to the game. In Voltaire's Nightmare, we see it as a state religion of a few provinces, so it's always worth having a think about just how prevalent it was in this area, and the nation of Sinjar has it as their main state religion. This religion is also relevant today, and has lasted for centuries. What do you guys think though? Should this religion be added in game, or are there more important issues Paradox need to fix within Central Asia? The last two religions I wish to discuss are the Vainak, and an ancient Skyfian religion located in the Caucasian mountains. The region E4 are all orthodox provinces, but I think it might be safe to say that perhaps this is not historically accurate. Therefore, I reckon Central Asia probably needs an update to be more historically accurate. So maybe in the next DLC when this region could be updated, these religions could be added in. The Vainax had been practicing tree worshipping, and these people developed many rituals to serve particular kinds of trees. One tree in particular was the pear tree, which has a special place in the faith. The other religion is also pagan, and it is still relevant today in Alania. I couldn't find any research that suggests how relevant they are in this region at the start date of E4, but these two religions are certainly worth considering adding into E4. So to conclude, we've discussed seven potential West Asian religions that could be added into the game of E4. I'm sure there's still some more, but we're going to stick with these for now. I'd say, out of all of them, there are definitely some more important ones than others. For example, the Yezidin no doubt had a presence at the start of E4, and could potentially be added into the game, and it does have quite an interesting history behind it. On the other hand, the Mandius religion is very insignificant in the grand scheme of things, and it's probably not worth adding into the game, or maybe just having one event. It was also interesting to discover the early Christianity movements before the Great Schism, and maybe these ancient Christian religions could have more of a presence in game. Ultimately though, it would be interesting to hear your thoughts on the matter, so let me know in the comments. Thank you guys for watching, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye for now. Shout out to our Patreons, Shadowsinger, Jado52, Cargan, Flyerton, Henrique, Redguard76, and Xiaomi. Your support means a lot guys.